Welcome to Magic Hour. I'm your host, Paul Chapel. And guys, I'm kind of excited right now. And I hope it's for a legit reason. We've had these rumors for weeks now on Twitter mostly that Marvel was going to do a Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse type movie. I'm talking about Spider-Man 3. And of course, you already probably know that Jamie Foxx is returning as Electro. And the speculation was that since that was happening, that maybe they were going to bring back Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. And now it's kind of been confirmed from multiple sources, primarily here at Fandom Wire. In fact, I saw a video, another video on YouTube saying that they're already signed and it's already a done deal. It just, the, the thing about Jamie Foxx and Electro, that actually was a leak. So everybody has already been signed for this movie. We know that Benedict Cumberbatch is going to come back as Doctor Strange. So yeah, it looks like this this might be happening. I mean, it makes sense. I'm going to admit, it makes sense that they would go in that direction. That movie was massively popular. So so here's my question: uh, Are they going to follow the? animated movie spider-man into the spider-verse because let me just talk about the plot of that movie a little bit in that movie kingpin builds a super collider to bring back his dead wife and son so my natural question is kingpin want to do that again because as you know vincent d'onofrio who is a great actor played kingpin on the daredevil series now i mention that because the rights to those characters just came back to Marvel from Netflix. So is Vincent D'Onofrio going to be in this movie? I mean, there are so many possibilities in this movie. I mean, it's just so obvious why they're doing this. That I mean, the movie would be a massive hit if they bring back all these characters. I mean, I don't even know what Tobey Maguire has been doing since the Spider-Man movies. Does anybody know? Does anybody I don't know. I, I I can't think of one movie he's done except that Sea Biscuit uh, since you know his his tour as Spider Man came to an end. And let me tell you, that second Amazing Spider Man movie that's probably the only superhero movie I actually fell asleep in. I still haven't seen the end of that movie, uh, but I'm still I'm 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 just excited that. They're going to all be in this movie because, uh, again, if we go back to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, a bunch of different Spider-Mans from different timelines come, converge on this one timeline with Miles Morales and they help him out. And um, even Gwen Stacy is a Spider-Man in one of these universes. They had the Spider-Ham guy. They had all these different Spider-Mans. Uh, I don't. I hope they don't go too crazy uh, as they did in in the animated version, because I don't think that would work in the live action version. But it's interesting. Supposedly, Craven the Hunter is going to be one of the villains. the The other question is: Is Green Goblin coming back? We know Scorpion is going to be one in one of these movies because Michael Mando from Better Call Saul he appeared in Spider Man Homecoming. And he played Matt Gargan. So, and Matt Gargan is Scorpion. So we know Michael Keaton is going to return as Vulture at some point. We've already, we saw that little camo he did in Morbius. I don't even think that movie has come out yet. So yeah, there's a lot of people that could come back. We know J Jonah Jameson is coming back. Uh, I don't think that he's particularly... From another universe, though, I just think they hadn't cast that character in the, in the new Spider-Man movies yet. And they're like, why don't we just use the, the same guy? And I forget the actor's name. But, yeah, let's just use the same guy. The same way they, they had the same, some of the same actors in all these James Bond movies, even though they changed out the James Bond. This, you still got the same guy playing M and the same guy playing Q and Money Penny and all those other characters. So... Uh, I think it was that was pretty much what they did with J. Jonah James with, with everybody else. I can really see that this is going to how this is going to work. 
And they're also talking about Nick Fury's new galactic version of S.H.I.E.L.D. known as S.W.O.R.D., which will also be involved in the film. I, I think that's what that end credit from Far From Home was about and why. Because uh, according to what I've read about that is that nobody knew that was coming. The actress that plays Maria Hill had no idea that they were going to do that. She said during the filming, she was just playing her character. She had no idea that she it really wasn't Maria Hill. So I think they kind of tacked that on later, knowing they were going to use it in this next movie. So anyway, yeah, that, that this is very encouraging. We're probably going to have to wait till... 2022 or 2023 or something before we see it god knows when we're gonna see it uh disney is moving to more of a screaming service oriented business they've already announced that so who knows we might end up having to watch it from home i, I hope not i hope not i hope we're able to go back to the theaters but uh with regal closing i, I don't know not looking good for that but anyway that's all i got for today uh let me know what you think in the comments do you think uh this this is a hundred percent now like i feel i mean there's so much smoke there's got to be a fire right let me know what you think in the comments give me a like dislike subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell so you know when my next video drops and i will see you when i see you thanks for watching